What is going on? And here's what the moon base looks like. Yeah, not much else to see here. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Welcome to Breaking Bounds, the Boundary Break knockoff that doesn't have a script. Basically, I have the exact same show as Boundary Break, except I'm winging it. Today, we are playing House Flipper. I just got the no-clip software installed, and we're gonna go give it a try right now. Right off the bat, on the main menu, if I go to Free Cam, you can actually see there are a few neighborhoods that are pretty much outside of the camera's view. We go inside the house. Only some of the rooms are actually furnished. Anything outside the camera's view, they pretty much don't care about. Colors are really interesting though. And if we look under the stage, there is a white box. This is very common with these type of games. I'm not exactly sure what it's here for though. And here's what things look like from an overview. Now making this video was a trip. There was so much more unique environments than I originally thought. Just look at the timeline. One of the first things that really puzzled me with this was the layers of clouds when I use melon load. It turns out that that is to signify the floors that you can create in the game. It did take me a while, but I was able to get it removed. So we got the home world. I barely started the level and let's See what it looks, oh gosh, okay. Oh, wow, okay. This is very interesting. What is this white stuff everywhere? Under the, what? Okay, there's a box under the level. What is going on? Oh, here's the player. As you can see, you're guy is actually only a pair of arms which is really uh, actually kind of creepy but it's, it's kind of an arrow as well so this is <laughs> this is what it looks like if you look straight up and this is what it looks like if you look straight down i am not entirely sure why there's a cloud layer on top of everything Let's look inside the buildings, just like I thought. There's nothing there. How far can we? Oh, there's three layers of clouds. Okay. It's uh, some cutout photos. Oh, this is funny. The PNG of a tree. Very nice. So here is what your starting area looks like. It's really not too much to point out. So as you can see, there's some markers outside the territory, and this is actually the invisible wall. So this is why you can't get out of the base. Now, one thing that's pretty funny is when I have my broom, as you can see, I have the broom as the player and on the screen. I don't really understand. Now that I finally figured out how to remove the cloud layers, here is one overview looks like of the entire map. Now this is the first level that you can play. There are a few oddities where there's grass inside buildings or the trees clip off half of the buildings or the trees are just partially visible and overlapping. So here's what some of the DVDs look like. And I will try and pull the sprite sheet from this and show you what it looks like now. Here's one thing that's kind of funny. They actually have this lantern hanging inside the window and the shutters. For some reason, they didn't actually hang this in the right spot. But I mean, from a distance over here, I don't know if you'll actually see it. Now that we got some money, let's go see what it's like to buy a big house. Oh, we have different environments. Definitely gonna have to check these out. So let's go with the cliffside mansion. That's quite a bit more environments than I was thinking. Oh, this is actually kind of creepy. A 
But let's use my... Okay, that is kind of creepy. Uh, let's use my free camp first. Oh, good gravy. Okay, now we can fly around a little bit. So this is what the cliffside level looks like. Ignore the flickering building. I can travel this way a lot faster than if I was to use the built-in no clip. Here are the rocks that are in the distance. There doesn't seem to be anything special about them. Yeah, pretty much what I expected. So well, here's what the cliffside level looks like from a distance. Now this is interesting. Look how far back these walls go. Again, something that you would never see. Not sure why they have all this there. And here's what it looks like under the water. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. I saw this under the level before too, and I think this is a rain texture? It's some kind of texture that they're saving outside of the area. And this is the second time seeing this, and I'm not sure why. But, oh, it's a Dracula mansion. Okay, let's find a slightly less expensive place to buy and check out. Let's do the moon. Wait, I can't jump high in this moon base. Wow, this is a really cool area. Well, we do have a few things to look at in free cam here. So here is what these fan power units look like from a distance. Uh, they kind of float off the ground. It's interesting. And uh, I guess they're just, yeah, not textured on the inside. Very interesting. And here's a couple of towers that you would see. And uh, you would never actually see this. That's cool. This is, this is actually pretty high texture. And here's what the moon base looks like high up. And here's what the moon base looks like from the underneath. So here is the winter level. Now this is in the middle of the city, so I don't expect this to be much different. Oh, this is the Home Alone house. So if you see here, it says Alone Home. And here's what the winter area looks like. Not too much different being in the winter area. Everything's a little bit more white, I guess. Here's what the map looks like from a distance. Whee! Let's go check out this Christmas level. Oh, we're in the mountain. Okay, this might get interesting. Okay, so here's what you'll see in the game. Let's go and check, see how big the landscape is. This is interesting. Giant hole in the ground. Always love to see that. It's actually fairly big. I'm quite impressed. Considering, see that house right down there? That's where the player is. And as you can see, power lines go off into nowhere, which I th can't you see from the ground? Oh, I guess it just cuts off. Weird, but it does go up. Yeah, not much else to see here. <laughs> oh, wow. Would you look at this place? You know, this is cool.
Uh, I'm ready. Uh, I'm ready. At this point, I did get a little distracted. I apologize, but first time I used the hammer with all the mods enabled. Okay, enough of that. Let's go free cam and see what we can find. And let's start flying around here a little bit. For now, I'll just kind of fly around and show how big the area actually is. Oh, that is cool. Look at the fireworks. The cyberpunk flipper. That is funny. Wow, this is actually a really cool angle. Yeah, this is definitely something you're not supposed to see. Wow, look how big the city is. What? Robotic limb replacement. Now I'm using the built-in camera, it's much slower, but I do like that you don't have the pop-up in the middle of the screen. I'm gonna speed up this footage because there is a lot to see. You'll also notice that the fog keeps popping in and out. Not entirely sure why that happens. Going under the stage, I did find an Easter egg. We would like to start by apologizing for not including this Easter egg as part of the Cyberpunk Flipper DLC when it premiered. As for the bug that allowed you to get here, we are totally aware of it, but decided to keep it as a homage to the other game. And would you look at that, we have a pile of Easter eggs right over here. And here's the zoom out of the level. This next house has a curse, a spoopy curse, that can open doors and close doors. But we can break this curse by burying this coffin. After we're done lowering the coffin into the grave, we bury it up with dirt. So let's break the game and see if we can uh, see it under the ground. Okay, and it is! So despite burying the curse, it is still under the ground. Look how far down these trees go. Why are the trees so far down? They're all half clipped. It's so weird. Are these supposed to be bushes? Are bushes really just short trees? That is really unusual. No way. And these type of plants are actually just potted plants that they rescaled and put under the ground. That is so funny. I can't believe that they just rescaled the pots and put them under the ground. And here's what a sky shot view looks like of the haunted house. Oh, I think I found out why the sci-fi level is so big. Actually, because it's used for multiple houses that you have to fix up. As you can see, this house that we work on just floats in the sky and overlooks this entire area. So the house only consists of a couple of rooms. So it's loading in so much more. So as I switched my other free cam here, we can see what the world looks like without fog. You can also see what these posters look like. And I don't even know if we're supposed to be able to see them. Now, if I remember, the other level should be over here, I believe. Yes, it was right here. Well, it looks like it's not here. It must have been removed when we loaded in the other level. And here's what the map looks like from a distance. So I just loaded up our third cyberpunk level and let's fly out and see what we're not supposed to see. Well, we got more fireworks that we're not able to see through this building. Well, and again, it is just another floating room. Well, that is interesting. 
So yeah, they built this environment and is reusing it multiple times for different levels. So we got another neighborhood here. Now we're gonna see if there's anything different. And the answer is no. There is nothing interesting about this neighborhood. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the same area because I remember that car over there. So I guess that means we have seen everything. So thank you all for stopping by. I hope you all had a great time checking out these out of bounds stuff. Y'all have a fantastic day or week. I appreciate you all. And you all have a good afternoon, good evening, or good night, or good morning. Bye-bye.